Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Crate Expectations. It's been a couple weeks. I was out on vacation, and Sarah had no choice. She asked, can I, can I record without you? And I was like, no. She was like, okay. Right? That's how it went, Sarah? Is that how it went? You make me sound very ho-hum. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like to think of it as humdrum, but mm. yeah, okay. Humdrum, mm-hmm. Sarah. <laughs> the, speaking of which, this is my co-host, Humdrum Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm excited to be doing this again. I I, I admit, like, we didn't do our podcast last week either, so mm-hmm. it's been, it, like, it I didn't. I didn't do my other podcast. Like I, I I've just had. I've been broadcast free, kind of, at least with with other people, and so it's it's nice to finally get to record with someone else. Yeah, back at it. Yeah, just jumping in. Yeah, and and by the way, folks, she didn't actually ask if she could do it without me. That was me fabricating it entirely. Yeah, yeah. huge lie. Or or did you? And I just like didn't read it, and you just deleted it because you were embarrassed. No. Oh. No. <laughs> I feel like there's a chance that that happened, but anyways, we we've got uh, we've got some things to talk about today. Though we we didn't mm-hmm. talk about anything that happened last week, which there were a few big things, uh, and stuff. What 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 things do we have to talk about today, though, Sarah? What, what's the, what's lined up on the show? Okay. Um. So we did not talk about because obviously we're on vacation last week when they dropped that Ben Solo would be the Conquest character. Um, So there's that. Conquest is obviously live right now. And interestingly enough, we've also gotten no further news about Jabba and like the next set of his requirements. Um, So we've got that. We have a lovely triggering photo that fleet enthusiasts are gonna really enjoy. (laughs) Maybe. (laughs) We're going to trigger them so hard. It's going to be good. Um, Yeah, and then we've got packed review, ton of viewer questions. Not a ton, but there's a few viewer questions. Um, Thousands. And character review, which we're going to speculate on another Java requirement. And then Hmm. the super awesome roster roast. We're roasting someone with a huge roster, apparently. Yeah, I just figured that He's the next in line on the on the list. Yeah, I I don't approve. It's hard to roast these these bigger rosters. You'll be fine. I'm sure you'll find something. <laughs> I'm good at being critical. That's kind of like <laughs> my thing. So <laughs> yeah, it'll yeah, be fine. Totally, totally. Yeah. So cool. Um. All right. So. W- Ben Solo, Ben Swolo is here. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, kind of. Sort of. Yeah, he's he's around. We're he's a, a, he's adjacent. We're acquiring his shards. We are. Uh, so conquest. Uh, there's a couple aspects to it. So first off, I guess I mean you've you've just been you've been like preloading all like all the questions or are about conquest everything everything you want to talk about is conquest which i mean fair enough but this is what you get for going on vacation (laughs) i I know (laughs) you didn't have you didn't have a voice of reason saying gac no (laughs) whatever i don't do that anyways Uh, i i celebrate that you like conquest so i don't i don't need to um so (laughs) Well, here's here's the thing, guys. So for those of you who don't know, Sarah does con- like she does great conquest videos, and actually, so after this half of the video, the the other the second half of the show is on her channel. So go check mm-hmm. it out. Uh, but she also Sarah does a great job. I've been referring everyone to them, and they everyone should go check out your awesome conquest strategy videos on your channel. So that's in the video description, um, and. Uh, so you're doing a really interesting experiment because this time we need mm. Supreme Leader Kylo and Ray both. Yeah. And uh, but my alt doesn't have them, and you you always you do them on your main, but then you also do it for my alt account, which I've thanked you for like at least twice ev- total. Yeah. And so I don't need to do it anymore. And whatever, I actually 
<laughs> I do actually thank you more than that a little bit, but <laughs> three times I just, total. <laughs> I well, I mean that's that's an extra fifty percent, so that ain't bad. Uh, but here's here's the thing. I know. Mm -hmm. Well, you didn't come to my defense. I was like, I better defend myself real quick, so everyone doesn't <laughs> just think I'm a total. Uh, anyways, uh, so. My my alt account doesn't have those. You've gotten red crate for mm. for my alt every time but one, and the one time was when you were on vacation. Totally understandable. You still got gold, like still wonderful, amazing mm -hmm. of you to do that. Uh, the problem being is so many of the feats require Ray, like Galactic Legend Ray and Supreme Leader Kylo, mm -hmm. that you are going to be uniquely challenged this time mm -hmm. to be able to get red crate i believe uh so can you right. tell me a little bit about that like everyone knows you can get it with your five gl account but how, how can you yeah. get it on on my like perversely limited um so mathematically it's alt. still possible mm -hmm. um you are short so you can only skip 35 tall. <laughs> you are tall <laughs> I've been told you are tall. Um, you can only skip 35 key cards, right? 35 points to get red crate. And if you don't have either Ray or Kylo because you need them to do one of the global feats, um, you are automatically down 15 key cards. And if you don't have Kylo, you're down another four key cards because you need him for a sector boss feat. Um, so Professor X is down 19 key cards before we even started Conquest. So I could only skip, what is that, 16? Um, so mathematically, it's possible. And the feats that I've chosen to skip, aside from the ones that I'm being forced to skip, of course, are basically making it so that I have to do every single Inquisitor feat and be perfect on every node in every sector okay so like so pretty easy then yes yeah, gonna be super mm -hmm. super chill it seems It'll like super chill so there's actually uh the, the possibility exists that you could if you wanted to i know that you want to keep the integrity of it mm -hmm. uh, intact but there is a bug in sector two right now yeah that lets you if you attack inquisitors and they get purge on you mm -hmm. uh, the, the feat is you have to get 300 stacks of purge uh, mm -hmm. on like you have to apply them but if you attack inquisitors then they can apply it on you and you get the so do you actually have a node there that you could if you wanted to like make the most of that bug if if desperation yeah. strikes yeah you have an inquisitor node on professor x so i cool. could i could go cheese that i i am like you you can get purge otherwise without an inquisitor node it is possible mm -hmm. it's still grindy it's not as easy sure. as it was last conquest you're not going to do it in one or two battles you're probably going to need to do it in like three to six um why is still, that it's still doable um it's well for one it's not <laughs> on a boss node so instead of having 10 minutes you only have five so okay. it's considerably slower um but i've <laughs> i've <laughs> it's considerably slower mm -hmm. um but i've i've um so the, the team that has seems to have the best success for getting purge on, if you're not exploiting the bug, is going against the Padme team, um, which I've been able to get about 50-ish an attempt when I do it. Um, I know people that can get 100. It just doesn't, it just doesn't work for me. Like they're, they're too fast and kill me too quickly. Um, wow. But you, you want a Padme team because you can't manipulate their turn meter um, and you can't kill them because of the, um, because of Padme, obviously, with stacks of courage and the protection regenerating. You're not able to chew through them quickly, but you're able to feed yourself turn meter with Palpatine lead. So you want to get debuffs out there so that you have your own turn meter train, but you're not feeding them turn meter with Volatile Accelerator. Um, so it, it does work. It's a little wonky. I don't love it, but it's doable. So, and really like, that's all that matters is, is the feet doable? Yes. 
then you just go ahead and do it. All right. Well, and you've been getting kills with my pretty sketchy first order and even yeah. sketchier resistance, which, which I, I'm like, man, that 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 takes that takes some doing. Like my my main does it just fine, but the mm -hmm. alt. I mean, I, there, I, there's a reason I don't have Kylo or Ray. Like, I haven't developed those teams. Like, I, we're lucky that the finalizer is a really good fleet, mm -hmm. or the the first order would even be worse, significantly worse. But I know I'm very lucky about that. <laughs> so yeah, like uh, mo I'm, most of them are gear twelve for me. I'm sorry, I interrupted you. No, you're good. I'm I'm curious to see how your first order will do in sector five because we need them there. I don't need to win though in sector five. That's that's a good thing at least. I just got to get some kills. Okay. Well, yeah, if you can figure it out. And obviously, I mean, I've offered to you before that if you need me to reprioritize some gearing or relics or whatever, you know, I'm always happy to do that for conquest's sake mm -hmm. um, and stuff. So we'll see. It'll be fine. I I think we can do it. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. So yeah. for clarity's sake, the feat that I'm planning to skip just so oh, everyone yeah. mm -hmm. understands. I thought you were being needlessly secretive, but no. okay. No, the feat that I'm planning to skip, other than the like win five or win 20 battles with five versions of Rey and Kylo, because you can't do that and you can't have Supreme Leader Kylo survive because you don't have him. Um, but I'm gonna skip the true. global true. the global feat where you have to get a, you have to defeat 100 enemies with either original Kylo or Supreme Leader Kylo. And then mm. that unlocks the data disk that lets you do the turn meter manipulation. Um, so that's the 16 key cards right there because I'm skipping the 100. Yeah. I can't. I can't do the other one because um, I'm not. I'm not even going to try and kill a 100 enemies with Kylo. It's just not going to happen. It will be. Yeah. It will be significantly easier for me to skip that and farm the other feats than it will be to use Kylo to kill 100 enemies. I'm a I have to admit I'm a little annoyed that so so one of the factors you know you get the you, you can get Ben Solo to mm -hmm. help you you unlock him in sector three, and then like he doesn't count toward any of the feats like he doesn't uh, like the you I guess having his data cron or data disc mm -hmm. I, his Omicron I don't know I'll, the summon I'll, just. His Zeta. I'm just saying all the all the different things you could possibly earn or apply. Um, his ability mat. Mm -hmm. So you get him. You get him unlocked, mm -hmm. and then there's like there's that feat. I was really hoping for your sake because it's a lot I of know. pressure. I, there's a lot of pressure to get perfect uh, on, on all the different things. Um, really hoping that he would contribute because I do have Scav Ray. I mean, she's not great, but I do have her. I have, I have Jedi Training Ray, who, I mm -hmm. mean, she's Relic 7 because I needed her to unlock Luke. Uh, BB-8 or BB-11, as I like to BB call him because he's not Relic yet, <sighs> which, which will actually, let's transition to the talking about that team in just a minute with, with uh, Ben Solo. But, mm -hmm. uh, but then, uh, otherwise, otherwise we... Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I don't, I don't have that. I guess I have R two D two develop. Oh, well, yep. sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm kind of, kind of going off on a tangent. Sorry. So I have, I have the rays. Mm -hmm. Well, Scav isn't great, and then I have the two, uh, like non Galactic Legend Kylos, and they're actually both relic. Like mm -hmm. you could, you could do that feat if, if Ben Solo counted toward the Ray slash Kylo count. Mm -hmm. That, that would work, but they, they decided in their infinite wisdom that that would not mm -hmm. be advisable. I mean, I think we all kind of figured it wasn't going to count. I was I had like yeah. this tiny sliver because I was like, this will make it so much easier. Mm -hmm. um, but in the past, summons have typically not counted towards feats. Right. Well, and actually, I mean, that's, that's helped me before. Like in, mm -hmm. in a couple conquests ago, uh, when I needed... When I needed kills or wins with Inquis Inquisition, I think, or yep. something, uh, they you could go on that node that was super easy. It was before we got the treasure node for mm -hmm. for Datacrons, mm -hmm. and you could still go on that that easy node and just you know use use like because I didn't have Grand Inquisitor unlocked yet because he wasn't available yet. Yeah, and so. I'd go and try to get wins there because it was way easier than anywhere else in Sector Five mm -hmm. for my really crappy Inquisitor team, and it, it would work. 
even though the whole thing was your full team needs to be inquisitors, inquisitors. yeah but Ma- malgus clearly wouldn't be that so i mean it did go in my i so i figured you were right when you said that but mm-hmm. I, I was still hoping a little bit you know yeah. There was a feat um, a while ago, it was two feats, and it was a sector one boss where you needed to win uh, without any tanks on your squad, and you also needed to win, um, I think it was with a full separatist team that didn't use Sith or something like that, so you couldn't use, du- it was like this weird, this weird team. Anyway, a, a lot of the people were using um, Geo Brood Alpha on the squad, as a fifth, which was fine, even though he summoned the tank and it still counted for winning without a tank on your squad. So the summon there wasn't counting either. So I think mm, that's where okay. like a lot of us were just kind of guessing that Ben wasn't going to count. Um, but it does. It does suck. It does. I've heard does. also that he's just not good. Well, like, the, like... The, the disc summon one is just not good. Yeah, I mean, pe- yeah, people were like, "Oh yeah, like he uses his level one basic attack and stuff." So yeah. Uh, so uh, on the character himself, I uh, have you read the kit? I have. I did read it. Okay. So, uh, what what are your, what are some of your thoughts? It's a GAC Omicron character. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, which I, I I like. I feel like you don't love love GAC, but you like it better than Territory Wars. Is that would that be accurate? I don't think you've is. ever told me one one. <laughs> that is one hundred percent accurate. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I I I get it. He's a GAC like character. That that's fine. That doesn't that doesn't stop me from one wanting the character or two applying the Omicrons. I think the majority sure. of my Omicrons <clears throat> are GAC. Um, well, that's yeah. where you get your crystals. Right, exactly. So, mm-hmm. um, I, I don't know. I really, I did like his kit. I thought it was interesting. Um, it seemed to have, it seems to have like an anti-cat kind of thing built into it. A little bit, yeah. It's, it's real complex. That is one of the things that it's like. I'm pretty sure this is for Cat. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's for Cat. Right. So, I'm trying to find it again now, looking at his... Um, oh, yeah. He's got... So, he can't be... He can't be defeated when Ray is above 50% health. And Ray can't be defeat, defeated when he is alive. Um, but... If any version of Ray is in the allied leader slot, all of the allies gain defeat, instant defeat immunity for one turn. And you can't dispel that. So, like, everyone has to take a turn before Cat can instantly kill somebody. Instant uh, defeat is so dumb. Like, they, they've never used that phrase. Like, that's, that's a new, it's a new yeah, thing. Yeah, it is a new thing. Like, I, I'm actually glad. Like, one of my criticisms is of them has been... They, they don't have good... Ver- like, the, like, the word defeat is used mm-hmm. for a few different versions. Like, for a few different things. Like, like Qui-Gon's like, hey, you can't defeat any Jedi on the team mm-hmm. until Qui-Gon is defeated. Mm-hmm. And uh, Ma- Mando is like, well, I, I can still disintegrate him, right? But if you look at Mando's thing, it just says defeat on it. On his disintegrate, it says defeat. So... Okay, right. So disintegrate should not work on like Anakin if he's on a Qui Gon team if he's on the Qui Gon team's on defense, you can snipe out Anakin though and he dies he actually does die. And so, would this apply? Do you think for Mando as well? I think so. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm just curious. Yeah, I think so. Though this, it's kind of like so. I feel like it's gonna miss a little bit. So that like, they say on the first turn, mm-hmm. they they get instant defeat immunity. Mm-hmm. But if everyone is faster than Cat, like if they make Cat super slow, and the whole the whole resistance team goes before Cat, mm-hmm. and then Kenobi hands the turn 
like ha- you know reduces the cooldowns anyways mm-hmm. cat goes before after everyone's instant defeat is gone mm-hmm. the cat cat just kills the whole team like or kills anyone on the team like it doesn't protect anyone right it doesn't that. it doesn't matter at that point right um well would instant defeat count if like on ben in this case because he can't be defeated when ray is above 50 percent health so let's say, like, let's just say Ray is still above fifty percent health. Would that mm-hmm. trump that? I don't know. I don't know. There's just so I, many. I think the language they use right now, if you compare it to the Qui Gon protection stuff, mm-hmm. like where Qui Gon can't until he's dead, like it's almost the exact mm-hmm. same thing, actually. Like it, it, I think right now the way it's worded, that may not be how the kit works because we haven't actually seen it, but. It, the way it's worded right now, mm-hmm. it really seems like Cat, as long as she's slow, can just go and just take him out right away. That's that. Right. Um, it's also worded very particularly about the entire team getting instant defeat immunity for the rest of the encounter, like when he revives. Mm-hmm. He, but that's GAC only. By yeah, the way. so that's his GAC Omicron, but it's worded mm-hmm. in, very particularly where. It's if the enemy in the leader slot t- begins their turn with Ben Solo defeated and he still has an active ally, then he revives and the allies gain instant defeat immunity for the rest of the encounter. Right. Well, it's really interesting because that, that also protects you from like Sith Eternal, for instance. Right. That's a good point. Um, so uh, there's that. And then the, the other thing I was thinking of, though, was... What if this is actually supposed to go with uh, with Jabba, against Jabba? Like, this is supposed to be some mm. kind of protect, you know, like, synergy to protect you against Jabba. And suddenly Ray is going to be, it's going to be like Jabba is so tough to kill mm-hmm. that Ray, but Ray happens to be that, you know, she's she's a ray of sunshine. <laughs> of, <laughs> she's the one that hope. can that can counter him. Yeah, like it's like well, you could you could go the really hard route and use Kenobi or Lord Vader or whatever, but you could unlock the least unlocked Galactic Legend other than Lord Vader, which is Ray, and suddenly you've, you've got it. Hmm. It's gonna like, be interesting like it, either way. If Jabba can't be countered by anyone but Ray, <laughs> that's gonna push everyone into unlocking Ray early. Earlier, but would it be a can't be countered with anyone but Ray plus Ben or just Ray? Probably Ray plus Ben. Ray plus Ben. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I think so. Um, okay, so yeah, I, I like the kit. It looks cool. Mm-hmm. It, they say glass cannon. We don't know that yet, but the stats kind of indicate that. Um, I, I don't know. I'm excited for it. I think. People are like, well, he doesn't have much screen time and stuff. I'm like, well, how much screen time does Lord Vader have, really? Yeah, that's exactly it. No, so, so whatever. Um, okay, why don't we? Yeah, I, I, do you have anything else to say on this? Because then we we can switch to triggering if you want. Sure. Uh, I I don't have anything else to say on him. I'm excited to unlock him though. Cool. I'm excited for you to unlock him for me. But <laughs> fair enough. It, well, if you can't, it, the thing I was thinking about it was if you can't do it, mm-hmm. it totally fair. Uh, like I'll I'll go two GAC rounds where I don't have him on my alt, which may or may not hurt me. I, I don't know. Uh, but well, because I don't, I won't have Ray. I won't. Have, so he'll just no. have to go with the Jedi training Ray, and that that might work out nicely. But it might just be awful, and it's gonna make me. M- relic up bb8 for sure uh, mm-hmm. anyways good, anyways good. the so I'm, I'm gonna as few relics as i can just to spite you but then but then uh if, if you can't though mm-hmm. then we'll be real close and you can we can just get him unlocked pretty soon like just two weeks later basically right like um he, he would be yeah. unlocked right now it, like for instance, if this was 
if the, fast forward like three months or whatever, like mm-hmm. you would be able to buy five shards or ten shards or however many short he would be. Yeah. It would be uh, early. Yeah. I need to double check the math. Okay. But I'm, pre- yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you can get, you'd, you'd have to keep buying the pass. Um, okay. But yeah. For sure. All right, so let's skip to the triggering, shall we? Yeah. All right, so we've got the BB-8 at gear one. Wonderful. Love that. Hmm. Jedi Knight Guardian at Relic 9. The the triggering for you and I, we couldn't get the Commander Luke. <laughs> I'm Tron. still upset about that. And now... This one, so it's a smaller account, but they're mm-hmm. about to get a seven-star negotiator. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very close. They're they're fifteen shards away, like one territory battle, like a couple weeks at at, at most, and they have a gear twelve Anakin, a gear twelve Ahsoka. Like their whole fleet is ready to go ish. I mean, they also don't have BTL unlocked. They don't have Y wing unlocked, so that's a little triggering, but. The craziest thing to me is the two star <laughs> Anakin ship at Etta at a uh, two. It hurts. And it's not yeah, it's it's horrific. I'm triggered. The people know that fleets, people not farming fleet things triggers me. So mm-hmm. that's that's painful. Um so guys, if you wanna trigger us, if you want this to show up on oh and I I also have one other one as well. Just oh, you to, do? Yeah, I, I have the uh, the one where all of the tanks, all of the sorry, not all the tanks, all the pilot lift ships, are just totally unlocked or not unlocked. <laughs> like the two of them just aren't even unlocked at all. Mm-hmm. Vulture is only six of eighty five, and Thai bomber is only six star. At like, it's free. Like just farm it, and it's <laughs> done. Farm it, and it's done, people. Yeah. Yeah. So, so th- those two, fleets, fleets, guys. So, if you guys have triggering things, go to the video description here. If, uh, you know, if you trigger other people with it, if you got triggered by someone, we would love to hear about it. Uh, go go to the Discord server, uh, the Gambit Discord server, and find the Crate Expectations page. And that's where you can request a roster roast, which, you know, we're going to have to at some point just do a big batch of roster roasts. We are. Um, but uh, otherwise, we have uh, so you can request that, and you can give the you can give us the triggering f- photos, and we'll put them up on the show eventually. And you can ask questions. Oh yeah, viewer questions too. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, is there anything else? We we have like two minutes. Two we minutes. Go, we can just go to your side, anyways. All right. Just follow the bouncing ball. Right, the bouncing dot. No. I don't know who made you a dot expert. The saying is follow the bouncing ball. Thank you. You're welcome.